Welcome back everyone to my channel. Today's video is a what I eat in a day on this candida diet. So please watch if you'd like to see the meals I like to eat in a day. So first things first, I start off every morning with a cup of warm lemon water. It's great to help you detox and flush out toxins from your body. So it also just feels really good to drink something really warm first thing in the morning. So I roll a lemon just to get the juices out and then I'll cut a slice, put it in a glass and then pour some hot water on top. Well, it's usually, it's usually warm. I don't let it boil all the way through. And then I will just drink it, just sip it and enjoy a little bit. On to what I'm making for breakfast. Today for breakfast, I decided to make a broccoli omelet. So right now I'm just cutting up my broccoli and getting it ready to put in the omelet. I like to cut it in little, little florets. Um, you'll see why later, but it's better, the smaller it is, the better it'll make for the omelet. Okay, and as a side, I decided to make some sauteed kale. So I'm just breaking off the leaves from the stem. And then I'm going in and dicing it into smaller, smaller bits. It's way easier to eat when it's tiny. Now to add on the side, I am also going to saute some purple onion. Or no, this is white onion. <laughs> And I'm using two eggs for this omelet. Uh, you can use one, it's just not going to be enough for me. So I'm going ahead and cracking two eggs into a bowl and then I'm going to mix it with some salt and pepper. And I'm turning on my skillet, putting at least a tablespoon amount of olive oil in it. You can use coconut oil as well. And I'm just going to pour it in once the stove is hot. Then I'm going to add the chopped or diced onion to the pot and then I'm gonna add in some of the broccoli florets now um, as I was saying earlier you want to make sure it's really really tiny for an omelet I didn't cut mine up as small as I could so it was a little bit difficult trying to flip it in half as you can tell it almost didn't make it but I was able to flip it in half at least some pieces didn't make it that's okay and you want to flip it and keep it on one side for about an extra two minutes and then flip it over and make sure the next side cooks. And once that's done, it doesn't take too long, maybe less than, less than 10 minutes for sure. Discard it from the pot. And now what I cut up before, I'm adding it to the pot which is the kale and onion. So the rest of the, the diced onion I chopped is being added. And then afterwards, I'm adding the kale, the raw kale. And it's really important to keep flipping the kale as you're cooking it in the frying pan. That'll just help it saute. And once that's finished, take it out and put it on the plate. And that's usually my breakfast. It's very simple. I'll have egg with any veggie side. And this morning I had some avocado left, so I spooned a half full out and pretty much just diced it. And I added that to the side of my plate. Then sometimes in the morning I'll just be I'll eat and I'll check my Instagram or my Snapchat. I do multitask while I eat. Kale takes me a while to eat because it's so chewy, but when I saute it, it's a lot better. All right, now I'm moving on to my lunch. Today I decided to make a simple, quick and easy salad. So I'm cutting up some red peppers and purple onions and I've decided to just lightly pan fry them in some olive oil. And of course I have a distraction, always trying to get my attention. 
so I'm putting the oil in the pot and I actually ended up putting too much oil you don't want it to be swimming in oil like that but uh, just saute the veggies I just sauteed them for about two minutes and now I'm getting my salad ready and I'm using romaine lettuce I'm just breaking up the pieces Once that's done and my veggies are sautéed, I'm going ahead, going ahead and putting them on top of my raw, raw romaine lettuce. And I actually roasted some pumpkin seeds and sesame seeds, so I'm going to go add that on top. It's really great and they're really crunchy. It's best to roast your own seeds. And then I'm going to sprinkle at least a teaspoon of hemp seeds. And then I decided to add a little bit of fruit, so I thinly sliced some pear. I'm just adding it on top. And I'm just going to watch some Netflix as I eat my salad. Oh yes, my dressing was just olive oil. I didn't even use any lemon. So now on to dinner course. I decided to make a salmon steak today, so I'm Getting ready, I pre-seasoned my salmon steak with salt, pepper, and parsley, and I'm gonna bake it. And usually, I add just a little bit of oil on top of to on top of my salmon. Then I'm putting it in the oven under 350 degrees for about I think I left it in for about 40 minutes. And as a side to the salmon, I'm going to chop up some green beans. Now this is my preference, but I, I love to cut off the ends beforehand, and then I cut my green beans in half just to make it more easy to eat and I'm going to go ahead and again I'm going to pan fry the green beans still keeping it very cr crunchy and fresh so I mix it around while it's cooking I add a dash of salt and once that's done it takes about two minutes once that's done I'm going to take it out add it to my plate and I save some of the sauteed onion and red pepper from earlier by then my salmon is done you know it's been 40 minutes it should be nice and crispy so it kind of stuck to the aluminum foil it usually doesn't but when it does that's fine i had to end up breaking it into pieces and then i added some of my season or my seeds sorry from earlier And that's just what I eat in a day. If you like this video, please press like, um, please subscribe for more videos and hope to see you soon.